Thank you. Thank you. Don't give me any more attention, because it'll all go to my head. Okay, let's hold these numbers up, and we're going to start with 168, and then I'll go to... Um, Come on, ask your wife. I'm ready. We just got to get them a microphone. Okay. 168, okay. over here, guys. Margo. I mean, Margo. <laughs> Francis. Sorry. Right you have no my name. Marco. I Call know. me Marco. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Can you please remark about... To the right or the left? Right Where here, am I looking? I'm left. sorry, sweetheart. Go left. ahead. Anna Rio with Vanity Fair. Can yeah. you please explain your coming at the end, the two words... Inclusion writer. Right. That's I meaning. just found out about this last week. There is, has always been available to all, uh, everybody that, get, that does a negotiation on a film, an inclusion writer, which means that you can ask for and or demand at least 50% diversity in not only the casting, but also the crew. And so the fact that, we, that I just learned that after 35 years of being in the film business, it's not, we're not going back. So the whole idea of women trending, no. No trending. African Americans trending, no. No trending. It changes now. And I think the inclusion writer will have something to do with that. We're going to right? 20. Power, 20. power and rules. 28 and then 261 right here. French. So, oh my God, it's like we're, I, like we're bidding on art. I know, right? right? <laughs> It's Put two. up your paddle. Where are you? My paddle is here, to right your here. right. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Francis, Steve Futterman from CBS News. Congratulations. Hi, Steve. Thank you. I want to ask you about a bit of a follow up to that question. The tone of the evening, obviously, it's about awards, but there was certainly throughout the evening the idea that this was a different Oscars than in the past because of what has happened since, not, since October. No, it actually was, a, it happened way before that. I think that what happened last year, you know, with Moonlight winning the best picture, that's when it changed. And, and it, it had to be acknowledged. That had to be acknowledged, and it was acknowledged in the best possible way. Not just by, you know, fixing the mistake, but actually recognizing that that one best picture, Moonlight won best picture of 2017. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. D your question. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it was really interesting because, like I said, feeling like I was Chloe Kim doing back-to-back -back 1080s in the half pipe. I was, I was a, I don't do everything, as you know. I don't show up all the time. I only show up when I can and when I want to. But I was there at the Golden Globes, and, it, and it's almost like there was an arc that started there. It doesn't end here, but I think publicly, as a commercial, because that's what we are, this is not a, this is not... This is not a novel. This is a TV show, after all. But, but I think that the message that we're getting to send to the public is that we're going to be one of the small industries that try to make a difference. And I think $21 million uh, in the Legal Defense Fund is a great way to start. And the commission that, that's being headed by Anita Hill, that's really smart. See, we didn't just, we didn't just uh, put out commercials about it. We actually started a conversation that will change something. Yeah. We're coming here to 261. Right here. Yeah. Hi, then, Tanya then. Hart. Congratulations. Thank you, Tanya. American Urban Radio Networks and online. Okay, three billboards has started a movement. Uh, have you seen the billboards oh, all over the world? Oh, are you kidding? Off the screen oh. and onto the street. Okay. Really Talk exciting. About that. I want to hear what your comment is about well, that. Well, you know, recently my husband and I were in London at the Baptist, and we went to the Tate Modern, and we saw an exhibition about the Russian, revolutionary, uh, Rev Russian Revolution and the propaganda that was used. Now, that revolution did not go so well, so we don't want to think too much about that. But... The uh, red and black is a really, really good choice. And Martin McDonough knew that. He was involved in the choice with the, with the uh, set design of the film to use that kind of iconography. And I think the idea that uh, activists are taking that kind of statement and putting it out there, billboards still work. They still work. So I think that it's really exciting. Yeah, no, it started actually with the Grenfell Tower fires investigation, then it, then it, then it uh, leapfrogged to the Miami gun control situation. It was outside the UN about the Syrian situation. You know, it, it, it's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of power that an image can have. And that's what we're making. We're making powerful images. 
We are going to wrap it up with 194. Oh, Francis, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, billboard, three billboards just released in China three days ago. Yes, and? So, <laughs> and? It's a very American movie. Uh, what would you like to say to Chinese audience? Well, I'd, like, I'd like to know, are they going to see it? Are people uh, going to see no, it? No, it has over one million, uh, one million dollars. Okay, we office. need to get a little bit more people to <laughs> <So> the cinemas. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but maybe you can help. Um, I don't know, what would you like me to say? What would you like to say? <laughs> I think that it is not America, it does not represent America, but it represents a really good conversation about compassion and, and inclusion. How about that? Good. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs>